In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a business email address with the Namecheap private email service and then configure SMTP with your website. Hey, this is Steve with Coffee Shop Blogger helping you build a better website. So this video is for those of you who are using Cloudways and need to find an email platform. Um, as Cloudways doesn't have an email server, um, you will need to host your emails through a different email service. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to do that with the Namecheap email service, uh, which is called privateemail.com. And this is going to be a series of videos where I'll be creating different tutorials of different email platforms, which you can then easily integrate into Cloudways and use alongside the Cloudways hosting platform. So before I get started, I just wanted to make you aware of a new blog post I created on my blog, coffeeshopblogger.com. And if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description below. And it basically just goes, it's quite a short blog post, but it just goes into um, some the differences between different types of email. So, so you've got like mailboxes, SMTP, transactional email, and then marketing email. So it briefly goes into these different um, technologies and services. And then at the bottom of the post, I actually uh, give you four different options that you can use when using Cloudways. Um, so I've got a few different mailbox options and then there's one transactional option. And what I'll probably be doing is adding more options to this list in the future. And then I'm also going to be creating uh, tutorials for each of these email services. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the Namecheap private email service and how you can set up your mailbox with, with Namecheap. So Namecheap is a domain name provider and it's very popular. It's what I've been using for pretty much uh, sort of 10, 10 years or so. And they also now have a email platform and if you already use Namecheap for your your domain names then I would definitely recommend using the the private email service that they provide. Um, it's very reliable and um, it's very simple to use and set up and it's also very affordable. So I'm go what I'm going to do is use one of my uh, my test domain names that I've got here uh, which I don't have the emails set up on at the moment. So I'm going to add that to it and then I'm going to set it up with my Cloudways server or on my website. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you will need to do is come over to your Namecheap account and then if you click on your details of the domain name and scroll down and where it says private email you want to click on buy now and you will land on this page. You can select the yearly option um, or you can choose a trial. So if you want to choose a trial, you get two months for completely free. Uh, you get to try it out. And if you don't want to use it after that, then you can just cancel it. Um, but if you still want to use it after that, then you just, you just start paying the yearly fee. And if you're first starting out, so you don't need um, to be sending lots of emails to people, then I recommend just you starting off with the smaller one. Um, it's just each one is just one mailbox, um, and then you get a certain amount of space um, within your mailbox. Um, and you can always upgrade to a bigger, a bigger mailbox in the future. So I'm just going to use the trial for now to show you um, in this example. Uh, you want to click on get email. 
and then choose use a domain name I own. Now if you don't own a domain name on Namecheap then you can either buy one or if you already have one with someone else then you can select the option just here and um, then you would need to redirect your uh, DNS to the Namecheap servers. So for this example I'm going to show you how to do it with a domain domain name that you own on Namecheap so click on the middle option here and then it will list your domain names that you have here and I've just got this one so you click on select and then click on continue and then it's going to ask you which mailboxes um, like how many mailboxes do you want and what do you want them to be called so they give you a few options that you can just select one of these if you like or you can choose your own so if I was to make it a bit more personal I would choose my name and I would need to tick this box and let's untick that one tick this one so this is the one that I'm uh, creating now and this is the free the free one I, I get for two months and if you want to buy more than one then you just tick the amount that you want and then it will just add the the fee of each one and you just pay for that for that month so I'm gonna untuck these because I only want the the one for this tutorial and then you just click on add to cart and then if you want to make sure that it's it gets auto renewed then make sure this is ticked you can decide to change it to a full year if you like I'm just going to keep it as two months and then just click on confirm order and then because this is free it's just using funds because it's just a free account uh, you need to scroll down and click on the terms and agreements so make sure we read those and click on pay now uh, it just takes a couple of minutes for the order to process okay so once the order has gone through then you can click on manage so what you'll need to do is come back into your domain name and then you need to with cloudways because we have set this up on basic DNS and then advanced DNS I have got my a record pointing to my server and if we scroll down you'll see this option here it says mail settings and what we need to do is click on that and then choose private email and then click on save changes so that's now saved and we can go back to our domain list so once we've changed the option over to private email in the email settings we can scroll down here and you'll notice that now it says under private email uh, we have a new mailbox so we just click on the button just here and that enables us to see some details about our email account so it might take a few minutes um, to update the uh, these details and these are details that you would need if you are using um, or if you have your your domain name on a different domain registrar we don't need to use that because I've just used it with the uh, the option I chose in the email settings so I can close that and then it gives you some details here about your new email account and then you can log in by clicking on open webmail and it opens up this website which is called privateemail.com and you will need to get your email and password from the email address that you have signed up with Namecheap. So once you have got your login details you'll be able to log into your private email account so put those details in there click on login and this is what the the webmail email client looks like and there's just this like quick tour that you can go through it just tells you what things are and 
it's very self-explanatory it's quite basic looking but everything that you need and now what we're going to do is set up a uh, contact form on my website and I'm going to set it up so that it, it's integrated with the SMTP service that uh, private email supply and uh, Namecheap have got this uh, page that's got the details about the SMTP server so we will need these details in a moment and I will link this um, article in the description below. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just add a form to this page so I'm going to come to uh, plugins add new and I'm going to install WP forms and I'm just going to click on create your first form and just give it a name here and I'm just going to call it contact page and a simple form all these values you can change but I'm going to leave this um, as the default it should just work as these settings so I'm just going to save it and then click on embed copy this short code and then edit my contact page to add it in look for the short code add the short code block and paste that in here and update the page and one thing I do need to check is is make sure that the email is going to send to my email address so I'm just going to make sure that uh, settings notifications and it's going to my admin email so I'm just going to make sure that that is steve at tutorials.com right so it's going to send the confirmation email when someone sends uh, when someone fills out this form it's going to send that to this email address uh, make sure I spell it right that's correct and then it's just going to fill out all these fields here it's going to give me all the fields of the what the person is typed into the contact box save that again and before we can use this page we need to make sure we set up um, an SMTP plugin as well so I'm going to come back over to plugins and type in SMTP and I'm going to use the same uh, company um, they create the same plugin as, as the one I just installed WP forms so this is an SMTP plugin which I'm going to use to enter my Namecheap email SMTP settings so let's activate that and then you'll get this option down here and you want to click on the settings so my email address is going to be the one I just created and I'm going to click on this so it forces that email address just in case it's saved as something different elsewhere and then my from name I'm just going to have my name and force the name and then where it says mailer it's currently set on the default PHP level so if you leave it at this and someone comes to your contact page and fills it out then it might not go to your inbox now obviously this contact form doesn't um, send an email to to the person who's filled it out it only sends it to the owner so you're the owner and it, you might not receive the contact information um, if you don't fill out this um, this section here so we're going to click on the other SMTP and then down here is where we need to enter our SMTP settings okay so just, just a correction this is a, a slightly different article um, that I showed you earlier but this is the correct one and it gives us the correct details so this is the incoming and the outgoing name server so we want to copy that 
and put that into the SMTP host. And then where it says encryption, we want to click on TLS. And then where it says outgoing server, it says 587 for TLS. And that is the correct server port that is selected for us already. And then authentication is the username and the password. So I'm going to put my password in here. I'm just going to paste the email. So your username is the email address. And then save changes. And then if you want to uh, do a test to make sure this is working, just click on the email test. And I'm going to send an email to my new email address. And then log into my new email account. And you can see that the email has been sent, So and it's in my inbox, which is great. And let's do another test by coming over to the contact form. And I'm just going to refresh this page. And I think what I'll do is um, I'll open this up in a new browser just to make sure that it's going to work properly. And I'm just going to write a random name and submit. So the form looks as though it's sent OK, which is great. And then I'm going to back over to my email client. And you can refresh by clicking on this, this button here. And the emails just come through. So And it's got the right details as well. So that's how you can use email with Cloudways. Now, I did speak to support at Namecheap to ask them about um, the SMTP um, server and I just wanted to get a rough idea of the limitations um, of outgoing emails so if I did set it up with WordPress now obviously I'm using their SMTP server I wanted to know what the limits were of, of outgoing emails sent and they did clarify with me that uh, you, they will send up to 500 emails per hour so um, it's it's not something that they will necessarily have for every single person and they can always change these limits as well so as long as your website doesn't send too many emails so if you if you've got like hundreds of people come into your website and you know you're getting like 50 or 100 or 200 people sending emails from your contact form every single day then you might not necessarily get all of them sent through to you. But um, if that is the only way that your website sends emails, then the Namecheap service is probably going to be um, good enough for you. Um, saying that, if you have, if you have users on your website so you have people signing up to your website or you have a e-commerce store then I highly recommend using a different service something like um, send in blue or you could use um, elastic mail and those are a couple of the other suggestions I made on my blog post which I mentioned earlier um, and they also integrate very well into the Cloudways platform. Um, in the next video I will be going through a different um, email provider um, and this in this video I just wanted to give you a rundown of how the process goes with with Namecheap. Um, I've been using this um, uh, this email service now for probably about a year, two years, um, and they've been absolutely fine, I've not had any problems at all, and I do get quite a few things go to my spam, so the spam filter works fairly well as well, um, and I've not really had any problems with people contacting me on contact forms. So I hope this video has helped guys, um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video, and make sure you subscribed to get notified of my new videos um, when I release those and thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.